working in Denmark is not just a walk in the park. It's a challenge, it's difficult. But I'd like to take you for a trip around the forest here. It's right behind the union office. This is where I do my morning runs. This is where I think and let the Holy Spirit impress me. And I'd like to take you to one of my favorite spots here in the forest. Come along. This is my favorite spot here in the forest. Here I sit down, I pray, I talk, I think, and I open myself for the impressions of the Holy Spirit. It's difficult to do church work in our part of the world, but I believe God is calling us. God is calling us to be creative in whatever we do. And I'd like to share with you a couple of the things that we're doing. Some of the activities we're doing are on a, um, on a path towards creating uh, full mature members. Some start in the beginning, we can say, take a, a line here and all the way out here. Some, you have some introduction um, programs and all the way out here. Well, actually, yes, you do even baptize them when they're fully mature members. But some of the introduction uh, programs we're doing are uh, the Happy Hand Initiative. I've already told you about that uh, a couple of times during these year-end meetings. And every time I've reported, now we're no opening a new shop, and now we're opening a new shop. And actually, I'm saying the same thing this year again to you. It's the fourth shop we're opening in just a month's time. In one of the smaller villages of Denmark, we're opening the fourth shop. And I'd like to take you uh, into a happy hand shop and just remind you of what it is to uh, work in, in this way, helping people understand the love of Christ. So follow along and let's go to the Happy Hand stores. Here in the heart of Copenhagen, we have one of Copenhagen's busiest shopping streets. It's called Nørrebro and a very popular part of the town. Here the Adventist Church has uh, rented a uh, facility a shop where we can open our Happy Hand stall. Happy Hand is an open space, a quiet space in the midst of a very busy uh, daily life here in town. The Happy Hand store in Copenhagen has proved very successful and I'd like to uh, show you a little around here in this uh, great, great store. So come on in. In another store in the other part of the country, we have uh, a pastor who comes every week and sits down in a sofa area and has conversations and small talks with people visiting the shop. Uh, this book, The Desire of Ages, in a modern translation, has been handed out now with over a thousand copies within the last two years from this very store. And the pastor there shared with me the last uh, week that uh, on a regular basis they have customers from the store uh, showing up at the church to see what it's about and even one or two are now regular visitors. From the contacts that have been made here with the Happy Hand customers, a number of Bible studies are at the moment taking place. We have Bible brunch, we have Bible activities and of course all sorts of other activities too but even um, direct Bible studies as a result of having these centers of influence, centers of hope. And um, it is really proven to be successful. Let me inspire you as church leaders to consider opening a happy hand store in your major cities. 
it's not rocket science. It's not that difficult. All it takes is to rent a decent facility at the right spot. But you will see volunteers come and help. You will see people wanting to be a part of this project from the community. In this store, around a third of the volunteers are people from the local community wanting just to help because the idea, the atmosphere that has been created here is, is so positive. There's even made a, a handbook. Um, the people here have a lot of experience and they would like to share that with you. They would like to uh, maybe even come visit you. And uh, you should at least uh, have a look at the handbook they've prepared, a written material to see how you can open um, a center of influence like this. One of the other things that we have worked with this year is a magazine illustrating the great controversy. This is chapter seven, where Ellen White uh, talks about Martin Luther and uh, what happened in uh, why he had to leave the Roman Catholic Church. You probably haven't seen chapter seven illustrated like this before, but this is a magazine that has been uh, distributed out to a number of households. We've actually printed 10,000 copies of it. Together with this, we made another magazine that uh, followed along. It's uh, in the same style, but this time uh, five or six of our pastors have written articles to show what is the Reformation about and how does the Adventist Church still have a Reformation to do. These magazines um, can be seen and I'll have a few copies with me if you'd like to have a copy in your hand. Leaving Copenhagen, I hope you have got some impressions of what has been going on in Denmark for the last year. We are doing small things in order to extend God's kingdom here in our territory, just like you are doing it. I hope that God will continue to bless the work here in Denmark as he will bless your work too.